taxes, we love them. This is good, but this is better. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So why am I saying this is better than this? It's not because of the ax itself. We're talking more about the handles today and you can see the dramatic difference between these two handles. This is a raw, brand new handle, nothing ever done to it. And this is a handle that has been treated and it is gonna be protected from the elements and it's gonna last you a long time. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. How do we get our handles like this? So whenever you buy a brand new ax, you're gonna have a handle that looks looks like this and it doesn't look like this, but we want to get it to the point that it looks like this because this handle is actually protected. It's not going to absorb moisture and cause any damage to the handle over time. So a raw handle like this will accept moisture. So if you're in a wet environment or if you're in the snow and your ax is laying around, what's going to happen is that water is going to get inside. The wood's going to absorb it in. And then when water goes in the wood, it generally expands the wood. And then as it dries back out, it contracts the wood. So that expanding and contracting action over time can number one loosen up the head of the axe number two can cause cracks or checks or weaken the wood and we don't want that to happen with our tool handles so it's important that we treat the wood handles before we actually do that you want to make sure that you're working with raw wood some axe companies will put a heavy lacquer coating on the outside now although that might seem like it's a great idea because you're thinking hey it's heavy lacquer nothing can get inside the wood it's gonna be good the problem with lacquer on wood handles from my experience is that they generally cause blisters and hot spots on your hands from prolonged use. So I'm not saying it's the worst thing, but from my experience, if you're going to use your ax a lot, you want to get rid of that. So you can either scrape all that lacquer off or you can sand it off and get down to the bare wood. This is very important for this process. Now, once down to the bare wood, what we want to do is we want to put something into the wood so water can't go into the wood. Now there's a lot of different options out there. The most common thing that you're going to hear people say is this boiled linseed oil. You can buy this at hardware stores, um, all over. You can buy it at Walmart and stuff like that. Um, this works really, really well. It's very traditional and it's going to help get your handle to this point. Now what happens with the linseed oil is you're going to put it on a rag, you're going to wipe it onto the axe handle and the wood, the same as it would with water, is going to absorb now this oil. So without being super scientific, that oil is soaking in and it's not evaporating away and out. It's just trapped inside. Now after some research that I have recently done on this, the oil does actually dry and it does harden inside. So you're actually filling all that space with this oil and then it dries. And if you look at the top of my boiled linseed oil can, it's like a jelly dried kind of texture. Okay. So that's what we want to happen inside. Now this is really thick. We don't want that happening on the ax, but inside, I guess these little molecules, if we're being like scientists, right, they're getting like that. But it does take time to get to this point. So this is the hottest trick I can give you. When you buy this stuff, also buy this stuff, turpentine. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a 50-50 mixture. So you're going to buy one of these and one of these. You're going to mix the two together, mix them with it, however you want, right? I usually pour them in a bucket and then I split, I mix the mixture up and put them back in their containers and I label them that they're my ax treatments. The reason that I like to add this to it is it helps with the drying process of my oil. So the turpentine helps the oil dry faster. Now it's not 100% necessary that you do this, but what I have found is if you put just linseed oil on your handles, okay, they're only gonna absorb so much at a time. And then if you don't wipe off some of that excess, your handles get sticky and weird and you really have to use them a lot to get that stickiness out. And it just doesn't go on as as nice and easy as it could. When you mix it with turpentine, the mixture gets a lot more watery and less oily, but the oil is still there. So it absorbs a lot better into our ax handles and then it dries that oil a lot quicker inside, creating that, that sealant per se that doesn't allow moisture in. Now, a couple tips when you do this, if you have like a bigger tote kind of container, it doesn't have to be real tall, just like the small ones, you can fill that with the oil 
oil and literally just drop your whole axe handle in there, let it in there for like 24 hours, bring it out, hang it over the top, let it drip dry, and that does the job. You don't have to do a bazillion treatments of this stuff. The other thing is that if you're gonna wipe it on with a rag, okay, you wanna make sure you get these end cuts, all right, here and here, really well saturated because these here are gonna absorb a lot of that oil. You're gonna notice not as much here, a lot here, and a lot here. So make sure you're getting that oil totally saturated down in them ends. So if you like this video, hit like and subscribe down below. You can also check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for our classes and our merchandise and our blog, all that good stuff. And that's it. So until next video, stay in a shop or stay in the woods.